Why hello there first Henry from making your stuff here and in this video we'll be looking at the, my your personal top uh, top 10 favorite Pokemon slash Pokemon cards. So uh, yeah, this is my my, uh, my opinion. If uh, your favorite Pokemon there, make it on the list uh, list uh, then don't uh, don't tell me for that uh, that there uh, well yeah let's uh, get on to it. So first is Osseus uh, the Agapakia GX Tag Team. Um, I will be getting that card probably even tomorrow, but I really want to make this video today. So I don't have that card yet, but I will have it very soon. So I'll put up uh, up a image on the screen, you know, what it looks like, it's like, and the re uh, reason that I like it. It is uh, because all, uh, it combines three of my really favorite cards: Arceus, Diaga, and Pokia. Here, Arceus is literally the creator of the world. He, uh, he feels so smart and uh, so amazing. Saying uh, and then the uh, Diaga really, co uh, really cool, really strong, uh, strong, really good in the games, and Palkia also really good in the games, it's really strong, really cool, and then next up is another card that I don't have, but I have two cards that, uh, that combine in, uh, into the card, Reshiram, uh, Kyum, Reshiram, Zekwam, and Kyum, so I don't have Zekwam and I do not have the card that I just said, said it is a jumbo card, but I do have this Reshiram Fort, this White Kyum, um, but I, uh, regular wave, but I do not have a Zekwam or the jumbo card, but, um, by the way, on this Zekwam Fort, with repeater blades, I will be making a deck video about this, I have designed a, and a, Okay, deck for this uh, repeater blaze. Actually, really insane combined with uh, some stuff. Uh, y uh, there you can look at it closer, uh, closer, see what it says. But yeah, Rish uh, Rishiram, I think, is a bit cooler than Cho uh, Charizard. He shoots blue fire and he literally changes the in uh, entire uh, your weather. Um, uh, then Q, uh, then Qum, yes, uh, then Qum is a really cool, uh, Pokemon also. He looks like that, uh, like, kind of quiet kid at school, but then when he, like, tries to get bullied, uh, it, he, like, beats the, uh, the absolute crap out of the boys, and everyone respects him after that, but, yeah, he, uh, just, uh, it feels and it looks really cool, and uh, yeah. So next we have okay. So con uh, continuing off what we have to have. So well, next number eight is Giratina, and Giratina I said we do not have. I had a Giratina a long time ago, long ago, but I traded it uh, for another card that I do not remember. Well, I think it was uh, this white QM right here, but I'm not sure. Uh, sure. But G uh, Giratina, or Giratina, whatever. I uh, just really like he is really cool. Uh, he is kind of like the. Uh, he's kind of like the evil Arceus. Not really, but like kind of. He, uh, he is really cool, really pow uh, powerful, and. Uh, he was, uh, if not my favorite, then one of my favorite Pokemon um, back in the day. But uh, yeah, so oh, I have a lot of history with the Pokemon, and it's just really cool. So next we have Zacian or Zacian V. This I got uh, on last week's Friday. I got it uh, not uh, a long time ago. This I need for my uh, my deck to finish it off. Zacian V, a very good competitive uh, uh, card used in ADPZ, see, and a uh, ADPZ, see, or more precisely, Henry's Brute Force and Henry's Switch. 
Um, you can check those deck, uh, decks and the video I made for them from the top right hand corner right over, over there. Um, uh, but ADP, uh, PZ is, if not the best, then the second best definitely. Pico Arm is also a contend, uh, contestant. Um, for the best deck like uh, ever and currently, but Zashian uh, is very like strong. He's the uh, is the protagonist of of uh, uh, Pokemon Sword, uh, uh, and he's just really cool. He has a giant sword there. He's really powerful. Uh, for he also looks like he's a real uh, he's really smart, and he is like kind of a wolf and I really love wolves but yeah let's put him to the back as well or who I do not uh, not know well really next is Zamazenta which again I don't have and Zamazenta uh, the same reasons for Zashian but the thing I like uh, about Zamazenta more, uh, more that makes it that I like Zamazenta more than Zashian is that Zamazenta um it just looks uh, like I have no idea why, and I have no explanation for this. But I just have the feeling that like Zamazenta is like I don't know the word for it, like smaller than Zacian, and that's what uh, makes uh, me like uh, like Zacian. Uh, I mean Zamazenta more than Zacian, but the like uh, almost in equal places. But because of that really weird reason. Um, I, uh, I like Zemazenta more. And then next is a card that I will also be getting very early soon. Probably this week, so like Friday or next week. Like uh, somewhere uh, there. And that is a bigger card package. It has, what, 19 something like that cards. Um, 5 EXs, 5 GXs. I'm... I do not remember at all, but you can check it. That also, it's gonna be a future video, uh, chill, uh, video, um, uh, the unboxing, and then it also contains um a lot of other cards, cards which I will, I will mention if there is a card that is on this list that if it's in that package, it's about Kyogre, well, pri uh, Mega Primal Kyogre, or just like. Primal Kyogre, you know what I mean. Pr uh, Kyogre, I like, uh, I like really much. Kyogre, one of my favorite legendary Pokemon. He's just so cool. He's, uh, he's the like water Groudon. He's re uh, really good in competitive. Not as good as Groudon though, uh, but uh, anyways, and. I just really like Kyogre. He seems like really smart and really cool and really strong. But uh, yeah, continuing on. Next is a card that I actually do have, which is Lucario, uh, the Pokemon, and Lucario EX, the card. Now, this might be fake. I'm not sure. It does look real because it actually has like the hollow oh, oh, like texture you can't see really well from the camera but the back looks a bit like printed uh but yeah i th think that it's real but i'm not sure uh sure but uh, yeah i really like lucario he's uh, he's also like uh, like kiram oh i'm uh, the explanation that i gave for kiram but like He's already like respected a lot, and he's really good at fighting, and uh, he's like really smart, and like the popular kid at like school, well, and and uh, yeah, he's really cool, really strong, really really like fit, which is I think that's a good word to describe it. Um, uh, which which uh, is a thing that like I like uh, like like, but. Uh, uh, yeah, Lucario is just really cool. And then is my top three favorite Pokemon. On next is Mewtwo. Everyone loves Mewtwo. Don't really have to explain uh, much. And this Mewtwo EX is actually signed by Shuto Itaka uh, Itagagi. Gagi? Itagaki. 
and it is from uh, the, uh, the World Championships uh, 2012. I got the uh, I traded this in Canada, Canada for uh, uh, with my friend. Uh, so Mewtwo is really smart. He was uh, a gene uh, genetically mod uh, modified uh, modified like Mew, uh, and he was tested a lot. That is what gives him like his uh, like uh, nature. Uh, and uh, Mewtwo really smart and also like uh, really re respected Pokemon and really cool, really strong. Let's put that uh, that on the back of there. And then number two is Solgaleo GX. Solgaleo, or uh, oh, so uh, Solgaleo. Uh, uh, I don't really know how you're supposed to pronounce it. But uh, so uh, so Galio GX uh, so Galio uh, so Galio so Galio definitely one of one of uh, my uh, favorite Pokemon of all time. He's the protagonist of uh, protagonist of uh, po uh, Pokemon Sun, uh, and he is also uh, really good competitively. I use him in almost every deck. And Ultra World is literally free infinite switches for the rest of the game. Uh, his ability, Ultra World. Once during your turn before your attack, you may switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So, at least for me, a very good competitive card. Sun Strike, 230 damage, but discard all energy from this Pokemon. Sorbus GX for only one metal energy. Really good, but Altered Creation is better. Like, Altered Creation is by far the best uh, GX attack in the game. But, uh, he is uh, literally, like, he is, uh, uh, he is literally, like, a uh, cosmic, uh, like, Pokemon. Uh, like, a, like, of the, uh, he is literally a cosmic Pokemon. Uh, come on, uh, he is, he is, uh, uh, my favorite legendary Pokemon. And uh, one of the coolest legendary Pokemon. He just looks so cool, and uh, he looks like he's like, and he kind of is uh, like the boss of everyone. He uh, he uh, could he uh, he could like he looks like he could take on uh, Arceus, which I think he like could. He might have a chance, but still, Arceus is the creator of the entire world. Uh, and uh, Sogario, uh, really powerful, really cool. He's a lion. I like lions. He's just, uh, just very, very uh, insanely cool. He, uh, he is like really smart as well. I have no idea where to put uh, put this. Um, I'll be back. Okay, so I just decided to put a Solgaleo GX over here. Uh, here. Although he does deserve uh, uh, much more attention, he's so cool and so good and so smart and so strong and everything. And but I have a question: Why does Solgaleo GX need to evolve, but regular Solgaleo doesn't? Why does Solgaleo GX have to evolve from Cosmo and evolve from Cosmog? Why? 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 That is so annoying. Like, rare candy is OP for that, but whatever. So, oh, uh, my number one favorite Pokemon slash Pokemon card. And uh, place, uh, place your be uh, bets in uh, uh, the comment section below on what it is. It is the one and only Dragonite. Dragonite EX. This card is. My second, uh, I think second most expensive card, um, around 25 euros. This is the gold, and the, uh, this is the gold hall for, uh, for, uh, uh, for art, Dra uh, Dragonite EX gold from uh, Evolutions. This is uh, really rare nowadays, and it's actually really good competitively pop. The uh, oh, up is really good there for like ADPZ because if you or, like one of your Zacians dies or like your ADP dies, dies, but not so because he needs to evolve for some reason. You can 
Can I take two basic Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand? And Hyper Beam does 130 damage, which is actually pretty good. It cures uh, most, uh, almost like non EX, non GX, non V, non V Max, non Mega, non Break cards. So, Break cards are so underrated. I actually really enjoy Break cards. They are so cool and uh, actually pretty good. Uh, uh, but then also, this got an energy attached uh, to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, literally, his attack is a, a, a way is a way better crushing hammer that does 130 damage. And for two and en uh, two energy, if you have a two double colorless energy, which is actually really cool, and this has a texture on here. No, those are not fingerprints. Those are the tech. And that is the texture. You can see it kind of from the camera. But Dragonite, Dragonite, he's thick, boy. He's chunk. He's got that chunker. Uh, and he's also really pow uh, powerful, really strong. And I look at him. How can you not love that? He's uh, my favorite dragon again ever. He is so cool, he looks so, so strong, he is respected, he is popular, he, is, he looks really smart, he is actually really smart. He's just so cool, so good, so powerful, so smart, so thick, uh, so everything. Okay, uh, so those are my top 10 fa uh, favorite Pokemon. Wait! You might have thought that Dragonite was uh, my favorite Pokemon of, of all time. And he is. I have to say that. Don't get the wrong idea. Dragonite is still my all time favorite uh, Pokemon. And Dragonite EX, uh, this gold uh, evolutions. Oh, for the uh, Dragonite EX, gold is uh, my favorite, prob uh, like probably my favorite card. But also, tying for number one. Is another card that I will get from uh, like the package that I was talking about earlier. Just pretend there's a card here. Just, I don't know. This is so weird. Gengar, or actually Mega Gengar EX. Gengar is so cool. He's actually so powerful. He's so cool. He's so smart. He uh, is so cool because he's like literally a, a nightmare Pokemon and he is just so cool he uh, uh, he's like he's uh, like support uh, he's like actually really respected and, and he is semi popular and uh, his uh, and mega Gengar is so underrated mega Gengar is uh, one of my favorite but the uh, um counter Pokemon in like TCG and he it's actually really competitive because of the attack for two psychic energies and one chorus energy um which is called phantom gate it doesn't do any damage but it's that you can choose any one of your oppo uh, opponents and pokemon's attacks and use it as that attack so you can use brave blade you can use sunstone strike or soul burst you can use Ultimate Ray. You can use Altered Creation. You can literally use anything that your opponent has, but just like faster. It is so uh, good. W oh, wait, no. Actually, it was one Psychic Energy and two Colors, which is one uh, uh, double Colors Energy. So, for two energies, you get to do that. But Gengar is just so cool and uh, everything. Uh, that he's really strong, he's really respected. He is semi popular, but uh, yeah, that was my top 10, or actually kind of top 11, depends on how you said, or top 16, or top 17, depends on how you look at it. Uh, the favorite Pokemon slash Pokemon cards of all time. Time. If you uh, like slash enjoy the slash or learned anything, anything new from this video about me, then feel free to absolutely bonk that like button. Uh, and uh, uh, bonkers that subscribe button and the bell to uh, to 
get notified of all my future vi uh, videos among these Pokemon videos. I do gaming, cubing, and life story video videos. Tomorrow I will be stre uh, streaming Geometry Dash. That's why I won't upload a video tomorrow. And uh, um, I've actually changed my upload schedule. It is now uh, two videos per two weeks. So this week uh, you get two videos, or actually one video, one stream. Next week, no videos. The uh, week after that, two videos, uh, videos or streams or something like that. Uh, that and yeah, so comments uh, and also help me in the process uh, to give you more of these videos. Videos and comment something below, or something funny, any like a joke or question, question or something like that. Um and any uh, and anyways. Bye bye, Dragonite. Say, uh, say bye to. I do not know how to do a Dragonite vo uh, voice. Wow, this was a really awkward, awkward end.